Welcome to our crib service. Normally at this time on Christmas Eve, Bax Bolton Parish Church will be packed full of families and children all coming to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jesus, God's Son, who brings light and hope into this troubled and conflicted world. However, this year, things have got to be different. You can't come to us to be in church, but we can come to you to bring Jesus into your own home. However, be warned, this story contains, well, there's Mary and Joseph, there's a donkey, there's some sheep, some shepherds, there's a cow, and there's angels. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of angels. So I hope you've got lots of room on your sofa and maybe an extra carrot or two in the fridge for the donkey. But first, to get ourselves into the mood, let's sing one of our favourite carols, Silent Night. <laughs> She had just got engaged to a lovely young man called Joseph. He was a carpenter. A good, steady job, her mother said. There was lots for her to think about. She had a wedding to plan, a dress to make, a feast to organise, guests to invite. She was very busy and very excited. While she was walking and thinking, a visitor arrived. Not just any old passerby, but an angel. A great galumphing angel, one of God's messengers, dressed in white, big beating wings dropping in from heaven. Mary trembled. It was very, very rare for anyone to see an angel. And when they did, it meant that something important was going to happen. Hello, said the angel. You are very special to God. This puzzled Mary. It worried her. What could the angel mean? The angel continued, Do not be afraid, Mary. God thinks you are just the person to do something very important. You're going to have a baby. That baby will be God's own son, come to be king of all creation. Mary was more puzzled and much more worried. How can this be? I've only just got engaged. I 
can't be having a baby yet. Well, said the angel, if you agree to God's plan, then God's spirit will protect you, the baby will be born, and he will be God's son. If that's what God wants, replied Mary, then yes, I will do God's will. And at that point, the angel left her. Mary had just done a very brave thing, but she felt more worried than brave. So to calm her down, she went to feed the family's donkey, Old Grey. Just then, Joseph arrived to see his bride-to-be. Mary told him all that had just happened and what the angel had said. Joseph was worried too, but eventually he understood that this really was God's plan. Then he told Mary his news. We're going to have to go on a journey, and we will need Old Grey to help us. The Romans are changing the tax system. We've got to go to Bethlehem to register. You're going to have to come with me as we're going to be married. Let's take Old Grey for a walk and make sure he is fit enough to help us travel. So Mary and Joseph walked over to Joseph's house with Old Grey the donkey. On the way, they talked excitedly about the angel, God's plans, the baby and the Roman tax census. There was much to think about. Some months later, when Mary's baby was nearly due to be born, Joseph got the official summons to go and register in Bethlehem for the new Roman tax. He and Mary got their travelling bags ready. Bethlehem was about 90 miles away. It was going to be a long walk, especially with Mary in her condition. It was a good job they were taking Old Grey with them to help with the carrying. Because the days were hot, they often walked at night time when it was cooler. Mary grew tired very quickly and the baby was getting bigger and heavier every day. At last they reached the streets of Bethlehem so they could go to the castle, register for Joseph's taxes and then find somewhere to sleep. But oh dear, every B&B hotel and inn they passed had big signs up saying full. The city was packed with people. There was nowhere to stay. At last, one of the innkeepers took pity on them. You've got a stable round the back, he said. It's clean and dry. If you don't mind sharing with Daisy the cow, you could rest there at least until the baby is born. It was the best they could get. So quickly they agreed and rushed over to get inside. Daisy was glad to have some company. Old Grey was glad to be sheltered from the night. Mary and Joseph were glad that they got there just in time, but only just before Mary's baby was born. Joseph and Mary named their baby Jesus. Mary wrapped him up in proper baby clothes and laid him in Daisy's feeding trough because there was no other bed. What a busy time they were having. Now we're going to hear another carol and it's one that's just right for the birth of the baby Jesus. It's Away in a Manger and it's sung to you by some folk you might know, the Flax Barbarettes. Away
Out on the hills around Bethlehem were some shepherds keeping watch over their sheep. Two of them, Ben and Nat, were crossing the fields checking on the various flocks they were paid to look after. Ben said to his friend, it's cold tonight. Yes, replied Nat, but the stars are bright. And the sheep are restless. Do you think there's a bear about, or wolves, or a lion? Don't know, can't hear anything. Let's try the next field. They reached the next hillside. The sheep are restless here as well, said Ben. There's nothing to see, said Nat, but something's making me shiver and it's not the cold. Suddenly, Ben gave a hoarse whisper. Behind you! What? trembled Nat. A lion? No! croaked Ben. Look! Nat turned. Together they saw an angel. A great galumphing angel. One of God's messengers, dressed in white, big beating wings, dropping in from heaven. The grass was still. The wind was still. The sheep in the fields were still. The angel hovering in front of Ben and Nat was still. Ben and Nat were not still. Their knees were knocking with fear. Do not be afraid, said the angel, in a great booming voice like a thousand thunderclaps. All right for you, mate, muttered Ben, but you're not standing in front of an angel of God flying in the face in the air before your face. Do not be afraid, repeated the angel, for I bring you news of great joy. God's son has been born in Bethlehem today. He's been born to bring God's love to all the world. Wow, whispered Ben and Nat together. The angel continued, go to Bethlehem and you will find the child wrapped in special baby clothes and lying in a cattle trough. Wow, whispered Ben and Nat again. Suddenly the sky was filled with angels, angels, more angels, too many to count. Together they sang, Glory to God in the highest and peace to all on earth. Wow, was all that Ben and Nat could think to say. As quickly as they had appeared, the angels vanished. Well, mused Ben. What should we do? Let's do as the angel said, replied Nat. Travel to Bethlehem and see the baby. So they picked up their shepherd's crooks and set out for the road to Bethlehem. Now, Fleecy, Flossy and Flummox, three of the sheep who had been in the field with them, decided to follow. After all, if this baby was God's own son come to share God's love with the world, then they wanted to meet him too. On the way, Ben and Nat argued about what they'd seen. Were they really angels? What did they say? What did they mean? Fleecy, Flossy and Flummox were also chatting. They said, Ma! Ma! And Ma! As they got closer to Bethlehem, Ben and Nat began to wonder. A hey, Nat, that's quite a lot of houses. How are we going to find a new baby among all this lot? Better not go knocking on doors at this time of night. We'll make ourselves very popular. But the angel gave us a big clue. The baby will be found lying in a feeding trough. Fleecy, Flossy and Flummox agreed with Nat. But all they said was Ma! Ma! And Ma! It took a while to get round the city, listening out for the cries of a newborn baby. And it wasn't easy to hear over the sound of three bleating sheep. Almost every house kept cattle, sheep or a donkey. But at last, they could see a stable with two people in it, and they could hear the cries of a child. Fleecy, Flossy and Flummox were almost as excited as Ben and Nat. They all raced to reach the stable door. Uh, excuse me, said Nat to Joseph. We've come to see the baby. You won't believe it, said Ben to Mary. But an angel told us to come. Oh, replied Mary, but I do, because I've seen one too. 
Joseph beckoned them closer. Fleecy, flossy and flummox squeezed round the feeding trough with Daisy and Old Grey. Ben and Nat peered down into the box. They stared at the baby. He stared back at Ben. Wow, mused Nat. Do you really think this is God's own son? Well, the angel said he was, Ben replied. And Mary whispered, that's what the angel told me too. Then she smiled. When Jesus grew up, he went out and about and he taught people all about God's love. He did many things that proved that the angels were right. He was God's son. But now let's sing another well-known carol. It's O Come All Ye Faithful. And we're going to try and sing it as beautifully as the angels. Shepherds weren't the only visitors to see the new baby. Can you guess who some others were? Here's a clue. They didn't arrive until some months later, and we'll be meeting them properly at our next Elevenses. We're now going to have a couple of prayers. Let us pray. Dear Lord, born into our world at Christmas, we pray for all those who, like Mary and Joseph, are away from the safety of home at this time, asking that they might find shelter, care and friendship. And we give thanks for the good news of your birth, which spreads over us all the warmth of God's love for the world. Amen. And our second prayer is a prayer of God's blessing on each and every one of us. Let us remember Mary and Joseph this Christmas. And may God bless our mothers and fathers. Let us remember Mary's cousin Elizabeth and her husband Zachariah this Christmas. And may God bless all our families and friends. Let us remember the shepherds this Christmas. And may God bless all who will be working. Let us remember the wise men this Christmas. And may God bless all who will be travelling. Let us remember Jesus this Christmas. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for being part of this crib service, and we hope you'll have a wonderful Christmas. 
If you want to join us online on Christmas morning, then you'll find a service on our YouTube channel. Meanwhile, we hope, like Ben and Nat, you get to meet with God's Son this Christmas. Peace be with you.